family makes up more than half of the orchestra. Although many of the string instruments look similar, they are very different in size and sound. As you can probably guess from the name, all of the instruments in this family have strings, which are made of gut, steel or nylon. We play string instruments by drawing a horsehair bow across the strings or by plucking or tapping the strings. All of the string instruments except for the harp have curvy hollow wooden bodies and long necks. The strings are stretched from pegs at the top of the neck over the body and down to the tailpiece. That's just what makes this family of instruments special. Long ago, all the instruments in this family were made of wood, but now, some are made of wood or metal or a combination of materials. The wind part refers to air that's blown through the instruments to make them sound. Woodwinds are basically long narrow tubes with holes. Many of the holes have little covers called keys. By blowing across or into the tube, air is set in motion throughout the length of the tube. Except for the flute, these instruments use a thin piece of wood called a reed, which vibrates when the player blows across it. The clarinet uses a single reed, just one piece of wood, while the oboe and bassoon use a type of reed made of two pieces joined together. You make different sounds by covering and uncovering the holes with your fingers, or by pressing the keys. instruments really are made of brass. They can play the loudest of all the instruments in the orchestra. Brass instruments are basically very long tubes with flared ends called bells. The brass tubes have been curved and shaped to make them easier to hold. You play a brass instrument by putting your lips into a cup-shaped mouthpiece and buzzing. This buzzing makes air vibrate down the long metal tubes and create sound. Many brass instruments have valves that look like buttons. When you press the valves, they open and close parts of the tubes. You change the sound by pressing different valves and buzzing harder or softer. The percussion family includes lots of instruments from small to large and from simple to complicated. To play a percussion instrument, you hit it, shake it or scrape it. Sometimes you hit it against itself, and sometimes you use sticks or mallets. It may sound easy, but it requires great skill to hit an instrument with the right force, in the right place, and at the right time. Percussion instruments are used to keep the rhythm, create texture, make special sounds, and even play different notes. Some are tuned and can sound different notes, like the xylophone or timpani, and some are untuned with no definite pitch, like the bass drum and castanets. Thank you.